Okay. I mean, V, going back to um, to the fact that you sing for Clive, I mean, did you know who he was when you when you auditioned in front of him? Absolutely, I okay. did. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now, he he's a you know you know thinking about from a, people he's worked from from Marita to Whitney, you know uh, you know right. and just Angie Stone because regard I mean, what was it like singing auditioning in front of Clive Davis? You know, did, I mean, was, did KG say don't don't mess it up? I mean, what was the whole preference? <laughs> so my so my mom went with me to Arista, and I was in the because they sent the limousine for us and all of that. <laughs> So I was in the car like this, you know, <laughs> I couldn't believe that it was happening. I really couldn't. And so then my mother was like, calm down. She prayed with me, you know, and then when we went in, it was like everybody, everybody was like on pins and needles because we could not believe that we were in front of Clive Davis. And I don't think Kay had to tell me don't mess it up because he knew I wasn't going to mess it up. Okay. He 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 knew from working with me how hungry I was for it. So for sure, I don't believe he said he probably said kill him, you know, or or, or you know, like knock him dead. But as far as the um, don't mess it up, I had no plans <laughs> on ever messing it up. Not in front of Clive Davis, no way. Right, right. Yeah. No. Uh, and if, if we flip back a little bit, how did you meet KG? Then how did you get discovered by him? So, I mean, by this time, had, had he come out with with next? Had he come out with uh, Jahim? And he had he come out with? We were all we were all working together, actually, right? So we all came in basically around the same time. We all came in around the same time, not to like literally one behind the other. We all came in because we were all working on our albums at the same time. So. Um, Actually, KG's brother, his old, I, th- I believe that's his older brother, he um, heard me sing. And so I sung in front of him. And so he said, I wanna, I'm want i going to introduce you to my brother, KG. And that's what he did, introduced me to him. And I sung in front of him. And that's how it started, from his older brother introducing me to him. Okay. But had you known who he was? Of course. That's- okay. Hooray. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Yes. And a Jersey native. I mean, Ryan, how did you meet KG then? Um, I actually met KG about what was that, 2017, 2016. I was brought on as a singer and songwriter with a bunch of the artists working under the Ill Town umbrella. And, um, you know, I guess during the time he saw how hard I was working and, you know, how dedicated I was. And um, I want to say like mid pandemic, I got a phone call like we're dropping your song. And I'm like, what? Like it's March and the world is on hold. Like, what are we doing? And um, ever since then, we've just been running. So, yeah. We you doing work with Ill Town Sluggers. Were you singing with them? Yes. 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 Are you the bear? I am not the bear. <laughs> I am the R and B artist. I am not the bear. No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ryan said I am not the bear. Okay. Well, because you know you because we do see you do see Uncle Vinny. You see a bear on stage, and I thought the bear was singing, so I just thought they put a costume on and did the whole thing. Okay. So you know, yeah, yeah. I I am I'm up there with the bear, but I'm not the bear. Okay. <laughs> Okay, as well, Lee, because people might say, oh, we know who, who the bear is and stuff. Okay, that, yeah, that, yeah. That, that's good. That's it good. is definitely a whole mystery behind who's behind that bear, so I'll he's never tell. Behind the bear. Okay, right. okay, you, at least you cleared it up. Uh, then, V, you know, if you think about the fact that you um, you get to work with with all, everyone, had, who, who, had anyone come out by the time you signed, or was everyone still working on, on material at um, Divine Mill? Let me see who came out before. I think did what did next come out before us, or did we all come, like come out together? I think we like um, all. I think maybe next had dropped their first okay. single before Coffee Brown, and I believe I think Jaheem also had a single out. I I, I believe so. Yeah. But by this time, you were still expecting to be a solo artist by, by this oh, time. Oh, no, 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 no. No, not at that point. At that point, when we left Arista, it was already 
done that we were going to be a group. Okay. And what, go on. What did you make of that then? That that's that must be the most. I mean, I can imagine what. So you know what I was. How can I put it? I I I can tell you this that I was so grateful to first of all be able to be in front of this man who you know <laughs> that has made so many people careers unbelievable. So that was the first thing. And so if he said it, why not me believe it? And why not roll with it? It wouldn't hurt, right? Because at yeah. any point that you can you can go do your own singles and you can do your own stuff, you know, but he put it together. And so because he put it together and he's a genius, yeah, I roll with it. I had no problems with it at all. Did KG and the guys, did they think, oh, but what? Or did they just say, oh, yeah, whatever you want, Clive? Or what did they, they also? They were, in agreement. they were in agreement as well. He was. It wasn't a thing. <clears throat> it was KG. Yeah. He okay. was in agreement as well. Yeah. And yeah. as you can hear, it came out pretty good, right? Yeah, it was a great <laughs> idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, and like, and, you know, um, well, I mean, I, I, you know, listening to the album, um, I know, you know, after party and weekend thing were the two that sort of were released, but okay. my favorite actually on the album is um, mm -hmm. Blackout. Look about the blackout, blackout. Yeah, I love blackout. Yeah, I, yeah. I, just, I wish that was released. I mean, I'm, you know, I was going it's for... crazy, right? It's awesome, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. And then I think so let me see. My second favorite was um, Chick on the Side. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. it gave me that download, you know, R. Kelly download. It felt like yeah. that kind of it had that vibe with that, and I'm like, wow. Mm -hmm. look at, I mean, look at, I mean, these were better than we can think, in my opinion. I mean, after party was the after party was big stuff, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Down, I'm um, sorry, chick on the side and 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 blackout. Um, I think that they had that, and and it, it didn't mean to turn on you. Was also another one. Didn't yeah. mean to turn. Didn't. Turn you yeah, oh, I love that song too. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, I'm You know, I went back. You know, a lot of people of us got the album, listened to it, and thought, "Wow, look at all this, the gems." I mean, now, you know, KG had already shown his stuff with John A, his stuff yeah. with with Next, and stuff mm -hmm. with Giant. But you know, we really thought that this was going to be massive stuff. Um, it, it, but what was the recording process? You know, just thinking about going back and recording it now not as a solo artist, but as a duo, what was, how do you start to decide who sings here and who's, how you've combined? Cause this is stuff that you never rehearsed. Right. We never rehearsed. We never, so it, it, and, um, because it was coming, you, you've listened to the album quite sure over and over yeah. again. Right. So because it was, we came from a relationship standpoint, the good, the bad, you know, that's how we started off like, okay, so well, so with the female starts us off, you know, talking about how she feels so forth and so on, or with the male come in, that's how we kind of mastermind it, you know, like, and then the writers, the writers, uh, all of that. So that's how it all, it all was in collaboration on how would it, how should it be approached? Who would, who would go first? Who would, who would talk about this first? Who would stay, do the first verse of the song, you know? That's how we. That's how we did it. You, you, but you didn't get to do much um, when it came to writing. Um, you, you only. I think I'm just trying to remember now that because you, it, it's only seen that you did one that you did write. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Was there a reason why they, you didn't get more um, opportunity yes, to is. write? Yeah, because at that time I lost my mother. My mother had passed away when we were in the midst of oh. recording. And so I I wasn't in a good headspace. Yeah. Okay. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, it didn't mean to turn you on was the one that uh, you listed as a as a writer. And as I said, that's one of my favorite tracks on there. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, as I said, it, you know, yeah. Um Hey guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of Halftime Chat. Please remember to subscribe, to share and comment but most importantly why don't you become a member of halftime chat we've got amazing videos amazing perks and um being able to support the channel but anyway thanks for watching take care i never participated in that category.